Here's Dark Master Fans from the Al Adamson Masterpiece Collection. This time we're watching Sunset Cove. Let's check it out. Our film takes place in California. High school kids. Meet the gang and the complete van and the chubby friend. Up yours too, you dumb gorilla. Yeah, up yours. Officer Craig is the local police officer who's hassling them constantly. So we've got some hijinks here emptying his tire. Some typical teasing of the fat kid. Hey, let me warm him up. This film even has some hang gliding sequences. Multiple ones. This is the mayor. And apparently they're gonna build some condos on the beach, which nobody wants to have happen except the mayor. More hang gliding. This time for insult purposes. They're gonna try a more conventional approach, protesting. Hey, how about tonight? We're all meeting up at Mimi's house to plan a protest about the building project. Hey, that's a good idea. Oh, she's got a great place, and her parents aren't home, and the lowriders, you know the band from school? So there's a dance by the pool sequence with a band. The lowriders. Got some pool hijinks. You can see where this is gonna go. Hi, I was afraid you might not come. I hope you're not shocked. Those two might be becoming a couple now. He snuck under her room that night, and then he gets naked. Why are you out of your cord? You weren't so modest at Mimi's before. Why now? That's because it's not swimming that you've got on your mind. Well, I still think we ought to go over the fence, change the grade stakes, so when they pour the foundation on Monday, it's just a little bit wobbly. So somehow they were able to lure the mayor down to the beach, steal his swim trunks, and then they're gonna take some compromising photos of him. This lucky guy gets two women in the van. I can't show you a whole heck of a lot of this one. The mayor has hires this guy to try to help his situation. If you can take care of me. Your enterprise will be rewarded, Ollie. What do you mean? The guy he was talking to uh, develops All film. The camera had a light leak. No prints. Not even one? Oh. Trying to find some sort of research Everybody loophole. And then out of nowhere, John Carradine shows up. There's even a song about it. The kids basically block the uh, people from being able to work. You get those kids off that beach now! Use the tracker, the truck, just get those kids off that beach! Then there's complete chaos. To hearing John Carradine's speech, apparently he's an ex-judge. I might be allowed to address the bench, Your Honor. Is that you, Harley? It's a foregone conclusion that all rights to the beach property in question will revert back to the city. Your Honor, if you permit me, I'd like to read one of the statutes from the original county charter, which said beach property shall remain public domain in perpetuity. And for the Anyway, the kids win and they get their beach back. I have personally seen to that your mayor, and I want to assure you that our beach.
All right, let's talk about Sunset Cove, which is available on the Al Adamson box set. Okay, Sunset Cove, it's a, it's a 1980s, 1982 to be exact. Uh, basically a, a teenage sex comedy in the vein of like Porky's and My Tudor and Losing It and all those. I love those films. I grew up on those films. That's what I watched when I was a kid. And I thought this was just one another one that I'd never seen before because it never showed up on cable. I don't think it was available on VHS or videotape in this country anyway. Um, and it's just a very rare film. According to IMDb, uh, before this set came out, there was like a print available at UCLA or something like that. I don't know, but the good folks at Severin uh, managed to unearth a copy along with just about every other Al Adamson movie and put them on this box set, which has some weight to it, by the way. So anyway, uh, the movie is a very typical uh, film from that era or that genre, I should say. Uh, there's a beach and all the kids hang out at the beach and uh, suddenly the mayor has uh, got this firm that's going to come and build condominiums on it and basically tear up the beach. The beach is going to be gone. So the kids are totally against that. They want to protest and do whatever they can to stop it. Well, there's not much they can do. However, they end up ultimately, they end up searching and researching. They got this really smart guy. This fucking thing is heavy. Um, they got this really smart guy to look up uh, statutes and things. And with the help of John Kerry, who shows up as an ex-judge, they find a loophole uh, that uh, the property on the beach should never have gone been sold. It's not sellable. It has to remain in public domain. And that's how the film ends. The, the court rules in their favor and the beach is saved and no condominiums. Boom. Now, along the way, we've got uh, several nude scenes, uh, lots of hijinks, some music and some dancing and some uh, humping in a van. And there's some a police officer named Officer Craig who is uh, always uh, hassling the kids. Um, plenty of toplessness. Uh, there's even some full from a little bit. Uh, we see a, a wiener in this movie from the nerdy guy uh, when he was in that scene uh, where in the, in the girl's bedroom. He got chased out of the house uh, by the father, hopped on his little moped and drove away completely nude. Kind of interesting there. Uh, it was obviously filmed in the middle of the night because uh, uh, there's nobody around. But yeah, they filmed that scene. So anyway, that is Sunset Cove. I'd never seen it before. Never really heard of it until this damn heavy box set came out. There you go. Now, this box set is very sought after by collectors right now. Severin put this out maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago. I'm not sure. I think it was running for about 180 bucks, brand new. There's 32 films on here. Um, it's ridiculous what is actually on here. And there's some like extra cuts of a couple of his films and such. It's a virtual uh, Al Adamson. It's not quite complete, but it's pretty darn close. Um, there was like one film called L L Lash of Love or something like that, which is apparently lost, and there was a couple things he did in the late 80s or 90s that's not on here either, but uh, there's a really cool documentary about him as well, The Blood and Flesh, The Life and Grizzly Death of uh, Al Adamson. It's an interesting story, actually. He was killed and buried in a in his own hot tub, underneath his own hot tub, and cemented up. It was quite a story, but yeah, these movies, it's amazing to me how sought after this thing is. It's, it's out of print, it's rare, and people want it. The, the movies themselves are, are ghastly. Most of them are just awful. They're shit. Uh, but you know, they're a relic of, of, of that era. You know, I, I had a few of these movies, uh, in my collection already. Um, and I've even reviewed a couple of them, the Naughty Stewardesses, the Blazing Stewardesses, uh, uh, and the, uh, uh, Rats Are Coming, the Werewolves Are Here, and of course, uh, Bloodthirsty Butchers. They're all on here. <laughs> and they look fantastic. They really do. It's, it's un unbelievable how much effort and time they put in this. It's well, very well done. Um... If you want to buy this thing, though, you're going to pay for it. Uh, you can look on eBay right now, and there's people selling it for five, six, seven hundred dollars um, I wouldn't pay that much for it. You can get it for less than that. Just keep your eyes open. Somebody will have a buy it now, or there might be an auction. I saw one auction not long ago that went for like $266. Um, but if you're looking for buy it now, maybe make a seller an offer. If you can get it for under $400, $350 maybe, you, you, snatch it up, because that's about what you're going to pay. Um, and it's actually not, it's worth it, you know, 32 movies and that's 10 bucks a pop. And it's, you know, if you look at it that way, it's not so bad, but God damn, is this fucker heavy to hold this up here for like four minutes. So, but anyway, check it out. There comes with a nice little book inside of it too, uh, detailing a lot. And it's, it's a pretty cool set. It really is. So check it out. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about Sunset Cove. Watch it. Bye.